Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is James Steiner and welcome to Sweet Osmathus. Or what the game is actually called is Shangui. This is another interactive fiction. I actually kind of like this art style. It's a little bit more deformed than I'm usually used to, but I actually kind of like it. And the soundtrack is actually kind of nice. I'm a little bit surprised. So I'm just going to jump right into it. I hopefully this doesn't take nearly as long as my other... I just got an achievement. This won't take nearly as long as the other one, so let's just get right into it. I often think back to my childhood especially my family. I'm thinking that's a little bit too loud. Hold on, give me a second. We were a large family, and we enjoyed an idyllic life. Even in the presence of so many extra relatives, it was always a harmonious atmosphere. In those carefree days, I often thought, if only such a life could last forever. We often went on family outings in the mountains. Warm words and laughter always accompanied us on our voyages. I thought, if only this could last forever. At the time, I thought of myself as a very pessimistic child. However, reality later convinced me that I was probably too optimistic. Whoa, that is deep. It was the end of summer, and a pleasant scent wafted in the breeze. The serenity of the mountain was overpowered by the deafening buzz of cicadas. A truly quiet afternoon never exists. Hi. They actually have voices, all right. With a sigh, I made my decision. I struggled to my feet so that I w could step out of the shade. Hi. All right, whenever they do the voices, I won't do anything. I'll just let it play. I failed. Whoa, okay. A miserable debut. Why so many achievements? The dew on the grass had begun to vaporize under the hot summer sun. The shade provided my sycamore. Yeah, the shade provided by sycamore trees stopped just at the edge of this grass, as if it was too. As if it too was afraid of the heat. That's actually very interesting. I think it is that. I think that's Chinese. I don't think that's Japanese. Interesting. How many times have I said these words today? It was my hope that through constant complaining, I might find some distraction from this unbeatable heat. Unfortunately, it did little more than sour my mood. Hi. Without another sigh. Oh, sorry, with another sigh, I righted myself and looked around, hoping to find any reason to face this ghastly sunlight. The bag on my back felt like a thousand pounds. It was crammed with all manner of useless personal effects, not that the bag was particularly light to begin with. The weight on my shoulders became unbearable. The sweat on my back evaporated almost immediately as I removed the bag and put it into my hands. I then became aware of a developing sharp pain in my shoulders. Ultimately, the bag became too heavy to carry and I tossed it to my feet. This is going to be very interesting. I shook my head, braced myself, and looked forward. Suddenly, I saw a little store on the edge of the mountain. A Coke, which should be nice. It had been 43 minutes and 4 seconds since I finished all my water. That is so specific, it is a little creepy. For such a well-known place, it seemed rather barren. I saw no sign of other visitors. However, respite had finally presented itself. I felt I had been clutching at straws. The store was my last hope. No, no, a straw is a terrible metaphor. It's so dry, perhaps seaweed instead. Yes, seaweed. I laughed at my own unfunny joke. I still had to cross the shadeless yard to reach my newfound sanctuary. Ah, that is really morbid. I'm just going to have you guys read that, and I'm not going to read it because someone else is already speaking, admittedly, it's in another language, but it should be enjoyable for you guys just hearing me ramble on the stuff that doesn't have dialogue over it. 
I made up my mind to move out of the shade. All right, I think that is good enough for now. I don't want to... She's actually very pretty. Um, the dresses, anyway. And the hairstyle. I'm fascinated by the hairstyle. Anyway, I need to stop talking. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully this isn't nearly as long as the other one and has a little bit less etchy, but seeing as we already started with really, really big tits, I'm not holding out any hope. Uh, but the writing is already better. I'm thinking that this is probably better translated. Possibly? I guess we'll find out. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Like and favorite the video. Share it with your friends. It's much appreciated. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.